go back to 2007. Before we get into the actual game, the eve of that Rugby oh. World Cup final. Oh, yes. How, uh, how nerve-wracking is that, going into uh, an event of that magnitude? Oh, you know, I think, we, I mean, you're going to be happy about this. You know, the Springboks had smashed us in the first round and everyone had written us off. And we started a journey there and then after that game. It was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to England because we were in a tough pool anyway. Um, but to really be lambasted by the press for um, right from that moment until we got to the final. And this is, I mean, we went through the toughest draw. We beat Australia in the quarterfinal and then... France in Stade de France and then played sp the Springboks in the final and ended up, you know, obviously doing a lot better than we did in the first game. Um, and that all came off the back of, well, we've got nothing to lose now. So, yes, there were huge nerves um, all through it, but every game was, um, was a gift for us. So... Um, wasn't I mean it was it was nerve-wracking and you run out for that game and there's there are not many people who ever get to play in a World Cup final so there's pressure on you but I think there was more pressure on the Springboks to win that game. Tonight.